Hello and good day. This is Teacher Oni de Guzman. Welcome back to my channel. Our topic for today is dividing rational algebraic expressions. Okay, dividing rational algebraic expression is like dividing regular fraction. So let us consider the following example. So if I have 4 pips divided by 8 over 15, again, so 4 over 5 is our dividend, while 8 over 15 is our divisor. So, I'll copy 4 over 15. Division symbol now is now multiplication and get the reciprocal of 8 over 15, which is 15 over 8. Then, remove the greatest common factor or the GCN between 4 and 8. So, 4 divided by 4 is 1 and 8 divided by 4 is 2. Next, so remove the greatest common factor between 5 and 15. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And multiply the remaining factors. So I have 1 times 3 is equal to 3. And 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Next, 5 over x all over 7a divided by 15x squared all over 21a cubed. So again, I'll copy 5 over x all over 7a. Division now will become multiplication and get the reciprocal now. So we have 21a cubed all over 15x squared. So 5x and 15x squared is divisible by 5x. So 5x divided by 5x is 1. And 15x squared divided by 5x is actually 3x. Next, 21a cubed and 7a is divisible by 7a. So we have 1 here. 21a cubed divided by 7a is 3a squared. But take note, 3 and 3 is still divisible by 3. So what we have now is 1 times a squared all over 1 times x is equal to a squared all over x. Let's have another example. If I have 15x all over 8y divided by 12x squared all over 25y squared. So again, I'll copy my dividend. Then division symbol will become multiplication now. Then get the reciprocal of the divisor. But take note that I can factor out 15x as well as 12x squared by 3x. So I'll do that. So 15x divided by 3x will give me 5. Next, 12x squared divided by 3x will give us 4x. Next, y squared and y is divisible by y. So y divided by y is 1, while y squared divided by y is y. So multiplying the remaining factors, so 5 times 25 times y, all over 8 times 1 times 4x. So we have 125y all over 32x. Let's have example number 4. So, I have 2x minus 2 all over 15 divided by x minus 1 all over 10. So, again, I'll copy my dividend. Then, division symbol will become multiplication and get the reciprocal of the divisor. But take note that there's a common factor between 2x and negative 2. So, that is why I'll factor it out. So, I have here 2 times x minus 1 because 2x divided by 2 is x, 2 divided by 2 is 1. Just copy the negative sign. But take note that I can factor out here x minus 1 and x minus 1. So, remove the greatest common factor. And next, between 10 and 15, it is divisible by 5. So, 15 divided by 5 is 3 while 10 divided by 5 is 2. 
then multiply the remaining factors. So 2 times 2 is equal to 4 all over 3. So therefore, the answer is 4 over 3. Let's move on to the next example. x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over y squared divided by x minus 2 all over y. Before I'll, okay, get the reciprocal of my dividend, I'll factor first. So I have here uh, x minus 3 times x minus 2 as the factor of my x squared minus 5x plus 6. Recall that this is actually a trinomial. So again, if you will get the factors of 6, so we have actually 3 and 2. Since the middle term is actually negative 5x, remember that if I will multiply, okay, negative 3x, so it will give us negative 3x, and add it to the product of negative 2 and x, so that is uh, actually equal to negative 5x. So these are the factors of your quadratic trinomial. Okay, next. After that, I have now just copy my dividend, then get the reciprocal of my divisor. Take note that x minus 2 and x minus 2 is actually the greatest common factor between the numerator and denominator. So I'll factor it out. Next, between y squared and y, the common factor or the greatest common factor is y. So divide. So y squared divided by y is y. And y divided by y is equal to 1. So multiplying the remaining factors, so we have x minus 3 times 1 will give us x minus 3. And our denominator is simply as y. So we have the quotient as x minus 3 all over y. Let's move on to the next example. So this time, this is a little bit challenging. So I have x squared minus 1 divided by x squared plus x, uh, 2x plus 1 divided by 18x all over 3x plus 3. Take note that x squared minus 1 is actually in the form of difference of 2 squares, while x squared plus 2x plus 1 is actually a perfect square trinomial. To factor this, okay, so take the square root of x squared, which is actually x, put it x here, and the square root of 1 is 1. Okay, so simply put positive and negative. However, in a perfect square trinomial, to do that, so the sign must be both the same. So if I'll take the square root of x squared, that is x, the square root of 1 is positive 1. So, both must be positive since the middle term is positive. Then, okay, 3x plus 3, the common factor is 3. So, factor it out. So, again, so 3x divided by 3 is x, while 3 divided by 3 is equal to 1. So, I have now, I'll factor completely the numerators and denominators. Next, I'll copy my dividend. Division symbol now will become multiplication. Then get the reciprocal of your divisor. And observe that I can factor out x plus 1 and x plus 1 here. Also, I have here 3x, uh, I mean x plus 1 and x plus 1 here. Next, 3 and 18 is divisible by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. And 18 divided by, okay, 3 is 6. Okay. So I have now uh, simply multiply all the remaining factors. So x minus 1 times 1 all over, okay, 6 times x. So we have the final answer is x minus 1 all over 6 times x. Let us consider this example. A squared plus a divided by 3a minus 15 divided by a squared plus 2a plus 1 all over 6a minus 30. So what I'm going to do is simply factor first all numerators and denominator. 
So since a squared plus a, the common factor is a. So I have the factors of a times a plus 1. Next, 3a minus 15, the common factor is 3. So 3a divided by 3 is a. 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Next, so a squared plus 2a plus 1 is actually a perfect square trinomial. To get the factors, I'll get the square root of a squared, which is actually a, and the square root of 1 is 1. Since the middle term is positive, I'll simply put positive on both factors in the binomial. Next, 6a minus 30 has a common factor or the greatest common factor of 6. So, 6a divided by 6 is a, and 30 divided by 6 is 5. Since this is negative, I'll write here negative. After that, I'll copy my dividend. Division symbol will become multiplication and get the reciprocal of the divisor. Note that I can factor out a plus 1 and a plus 1 here. Next, also a minus 5 and a minus 5. Okay? As well as 6 and 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 6 divided by 3 is 2. Then simply multiply the remaining factors. So 2 we have here 2 times a, or a times 2 is 2a. 1 times a plus 1 is a plus 1. So the final answer is 2a all over a plus 1. To summarize our discussion in dividing rational algebraic expressions, first, factor completely both the numerators and denominators of all rational expressions. Then number 2, Get the reciprocal of the divisor, then proceed to multiplication of rational algebraic expressions. Once again, thank you, and don't forget to subscribe so that you will be notified about my new videos.